Hey guys, Jamstrap here, and yes, I know, I got another project on the go. As you can see, I'm going to be unboxing the Lord of the Rings Battle of Pelennor Fields, the Middle Earth strategy battle game. But yeah, I was always really confused with what this game was actually called, because I'm completely new to it. I've always kind of seen it in the background, and I was like, is it Lord of the Rings? Is it The Hobbit? Is it Middle Earth? But I'm pretty sure they've just called it Middle Earth strategy battle games now. And yeah, like I said, it's been on my radar for a while. I've always kind of thought it was GW's kind of like, I don't know what you call it, a red-headed stepchild, you know, like just kind of there in the corner. Nobody seems to give it much attention or whatever. And yeah, to be fair, a lot of the miniatures are super old. A lot of them are still metal. They don't get as much attention as they should, but that seems to have a really great community since I've been looking into getting into it. And I don't know, I feel like the older miniatures kind of gives it that handcrafted character. So... Anyway, I'm going to stop jabbing you. I'm going to turn the box over, look at that, then I'm going to crack it open for you guys. This is everything you get in the the box. You get a rule book, you get kind of like a little scenario leaflet thingy. Obviously, you don't get the playing mat. But you get two halves. You get Mordor, which comes with the Witch King, a troll, and loads of these little orc boys. And no, not orc boys, as in the 40 cake. 40 cake? 40k. You get the ghost dudes from the films, well, and the books, obviously. And then you get the riders of Rohan. So you get a lot of dudes on horses, some guys on foot as well. And you get Theoden, King of Rohan as well. So I think he's one of the newer models in this box, if not the newest. But yeah, I think it's a really great deal. I think you get around about 84 models and a thick, thick rule book as well. And if you get it at like your a friendly local gaming store or just like one of your online retailers they do 20% off I got this at 67 pound for 84 models in a rule book and I think that's a pretty sweet deal so anyway let's crack it open and see what we get inside all right so as you can see there's a lot of spruce and that's only the good side that's just the the Rohan and the undead but first let's quickly just get the books out of the way like I said I'm completely new to this I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing Got a rough idea after like talking to some people in the community of how to start the I army. Mean, it's very unique compared to like 40k and Age of Sigmar. And I think you probably have to be a lover of the models or just Lord of the Rings in general to probably pick it up. That's probably why it's one of the least played ones out of the three the Games Workshop has. But yeah, I think it sounds pretty interesting. You have to have like one, like it's all about heroes and leaders. Your leaders have little war bands that follow them around. But yeah, let's have a look in this little scenario box. So it gives you a quick look at what you get in the box there. So you get your undead dudes, warriors of Ryan on foot, your riders of Rohan, and then you get Theoden over there. Great look. I mean, it, it feels like a lot of people are playing Rohan from what I've kind of picked up. And that's the two armies facing off there. I'm just going to scroll through this very quickly. So I'm just telling you what to do. This is basically like your quick start guide. Yeah, I haven't actually built up my Rohan guys, because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or not, maybe sell them on. But I have built up the Mordor half, and that's why I'll show you guys later, so I can get them in nicely into the screen. But yeah, I'm not sure what colour I'll be going for, because everything seems a bit too dark for me there. But anyway, we'll think about that at another point. Lots of artwork and pictures from the films. Oh, bumping sprues. Lots of scenarios. Gives you little sheets on, your data sheets kind of. And some more images of the Mordor half. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go through the rule book because it's an absolutely hefty thing. Look at that. It's nice, got nice artwork on it. Pretty cool. Tells you everything you need to know. But if you want to actually build an army, you need to buy another book. Kind of like your codex, but it has every army in the Lord of the Rings range in it. So it's pretty cool as well. Not too bad for the price. But yeah, that book alone, I think, is like £25, something like that. Let's see if I can focus in with all these sprues in the background. But this is Theoden, one of his sprues. He comes on a horse and on foot. So as you can see, there's the on foot version there. He's armoured horse. And there's his body there. And the second half of the sprue. So one thing I kind of like about these, I think Lord of the Rings seems to be a lot cheaper to get into than Age of Sigmar 40k, that's for sure. And a lot of times you buy one model, he comes with a like a mounted version and a foot version. So yeah, like I say, he's got different heads for if he's on his horse, off his horse, whatever. Different swords. Yeah, very, very good detail. I think this is one of the newer ones. Is the date on this thing anywhere? 
it probably is but i'm not going to spend my time looking for it but yeah great detail and if you like rohan in the films then you'll definitely like this i like them as well i mean don't get me wrong but i kind of wouldn't mind selling these to fund me a dwarf army so <laughs> i'm already going down the rabbit hole a bit too much and i haven't even played a game of this yet but yeah that's theoden right there oh i also forgot to mention you get kind of these like uh little tokens for things you've like done in the battle and everything like that you get your standard plastic range rulers one of them's actually an evil version one's a good version i think they've got like it's got like the witch king symbol there and all that but nobody really uses those i guess and your standard little pack of dice everything you need for you and a buddy to play for like 67 pound that's an absolute bargain to me also these models are much easier to like put together they're very like old school i mean look that's just you just stick an arm on it maybe a shield and you're done so you can get this going pretty quick but yeah anyway so this is your ghosty boys i think you get two sprues two identical sprues so how many is that you get about 10 on each sprue so that's 20 guys all together obviously like i said they're going to be duplicates but i don't know normally i don't like duplicates because i don't like painting the same model over and over those are like my Morinan orcs. I think you get 12 unique guys and the rest are just duplicates. I've got like three of the same dudes. And to be honest with like how small they are and the models are kind of old and that. I don't really mind too much. I don't like not every single hobby project has to have maximum effort. So I'm just kind of going with it. Now I was thinking of selling the undead half, But then I kind of saw like you get different like legions you can build in armies. And you kind of get the... You know in the films where Legolas, Gimli and Aragorn are running around with the ghosts? Yeah, I kind of want to build that army. It seems really fun. But anyway, I'm going to stop jib jabbering and actually give you some closer looks at what these ghost guys look like. If I can focus in. It's pretty cool. Like you can see they're like gliding across the battlefield. You know, I think they'll be super easy to paint up. And yeah, like I said, I'm not going to show you the other sprue because it's identical. And that's what you get for the ghosting guys. Next up, you get one sprue of the Warriors of Rohan, so just the dudes on foot. I think a lot of people go straight for the horse riders, and they just use this kind of as... If your guy's horse gets killed in the game, then they'll end up be on, being on foot, so you can use one of these to represent them being on foot. At least that's the way I've kind of gathered it. Let's try to get some closer detail. Just kind of your standard warrior dudes with bows and swords, throwing spears. Pretty cool. I do like them. They seem like a lot of fun to paint. That's another thing I like about Lord of the Rings, because the models are kind of like older and they kind of got that unique feel to them. And also, I don't feel like I want to put 100% effort into this hobby just yet, so I kind of feel I can be a bit more relaxed with my painting on these compared to like the super high detailed new minis you get from like 40k and all that. And lastly, and certainly not least, you get your riders. Now, once again, duplicate spruce you get like six but then you obviously get another one so you get 12 but they're duplicates so yeah same kind of th aesthetic obviously lots of axes and sp throwing spears swords bows a lot of people seem to like this army and i can see why yeah and that's that and i'll start to show you guys the nope sorry the horses quickly i mean they're just horses but i've never really been too keen on painting horses i don't know there's too much like flat surfaces and muscles and i'm not very good at painting like skin and fur and all that kind of stuff but if you do like horses and painting them this is definitely the army for you all right so i'm going to cut now and bring out my mordor army that i've built so far okay so this is your entire mordor half so you get 36 of your standard orc guys but like i said before most of the middle earth range when you get like a pack of like warriors or whatever it is a lot of them are going to be duplicates and i mean like I said, and another thing i said before as well is they are quite old and you can feel that they're like i mean look at that you get like this like weird filling in there so you're like plastic attaching the spear to his stomach and then where's the other one that's quite bad it's this one here where the shield and his like body all molded into one like that it's not great but like I said, if, you're, if you want super crisp 
re like often updated models and stuff like that. I don't think this is quite the game for you. But if you kind of like that handcrafted kind of feeling to it, I feel like it gives a kind of a new, unique feeling. You like Lord of the Rings, you like the characters, you like the aesthetic, you like the gameplay, then this is probably the game for you. Like, so I haven't played it yet, but it looks really interesting. I love Lord of the Rings, and I don't actually mind the minis. Although, I must say, I'm probably going to stay away from metal as much as I can, because there's quite a lot of metal and resin going on, but resin I can handle. So these, this 12 over here are like the, basically your sculpt you're going to get. The rest of these guys are all duplicates. But you can mix and match sword, you can chop some hands off, swap them around with different weapons if you want to try. But I feel like when you've got a huge rabble of orcs going on, they kind of blend into one, so it doesn't really matter too much. So I'll, give you, I'll bring up a couple for you guys to see. Oh, so yeah, he's got a guy with a spear there. I feel like these are going to be quite quick to paint up as well. I just got some Necron compound for the first time. It's going to lead belch them. We'll do about two, three layers of non-oil. Get a really black armor and then just dry brush it. Just get these guys done. Okay, so you got a guy here with a like a macy thing. So I'm not going to bring them all up, but just to give you guys a bit of a, a flavor. Also, the shields are not attached to their arms, so you can mix match the shields and all that as well. He's got an axe there. I always find it funny how far away the legs are as well. And then you get this kind of dude with a mighty double chin going on. Alright, so that's your basic infantry. You kind of get the gist of what they're going to look like. Now for the mighty troll. Now this guy is actually like a multi-part kit. You can make him an Isengard troll, which is the one with the shield. Only Isengard trolls can have shields. And then you get like a diff couple different head options. You got like swords, hammers, whatever like weapons you want. You get a drum option as well. You can give him drums. He doesn't have to have this metal plate. So if you actually get two of this box, your orcs might look the same, but your troll doesn't have to be. So that's pretty cool. And that's I don't know, I quite like that model. I'm looking forward to painting it up. I mean, just to give you a bit of a size comparison of how massive it actually is. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. So yeah, that's the troll. Really like that one. And obviously, the so-called elephant in the room. Let's see if I can fit him in with his wingspan and all that. Which king of Ang Angmar? Angmar? I can't say it now. Obviously, this model can get built as a generic, like, nazgul ring ringwraith. But I went for the witch king because, you know, cool factor. Pretty simple model to put together. I'm not sure how I feel about this stack. So as you can see, if you put him down, he's extremely wobbly. But yeah, I'm really, really liking that. Looking for forward to painting that. Could do some airbrush work on the wings. I think that'd be quite nice. Try it out for the first time. This guy's just super intimidating. And he comes with this pretty cool scenic base as well. Some little rocks, broken spears, swords and shields and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, he's got loads of... Uh, detail on the top there. As much as I watch the films and I'm on the good guy side, I've always, when it comes to models and games, always go for the evil dudes and they just look so much cooler. Although because this is kind of a game that plays through the lore of the books and the films, it's kind of weird to play the bad guys because you know you're going to lose in the end. As bad as this guy is, I know he's going to get stabbed in the face. But yeah, so that's the Mordor half and that's everything you get in the box. Obviously I didn't show you like the spare bits from the Mordor bit. But yeah, if you're interested in this game and you it's you've kind of been it's kind of been lingering in the back of your mind or you like Lord of the Rings, you want to try it out, you know, maybe pick this box up with a friend. Split it, you know, split the cost. Or if you want it all for yourself, I mean that's what I'm doing. Or if you just want one half, sell it, whatever, you know. But it really does look like an interesting game with loads of like beautiful characterful models and stuff like that. So I don't know, I'd recommend checking it out because I know it's not as big as 40k or Age of Sigma. But it still looks pretty interesting. But yeah, I'm going to call it here, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's made you think about the game more, kind of if you're on the fence of getting it. But as usual, check my channel out and subscribe because I release similar hobby content like this every week. And comment below if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.